We are continuing our tour of the beer making process here at Castleman Brewery. Joining me once again, Mario Bourgeois, brewmaster, self-taught brewmaster. <laughs> a round of applause is necessary and co-owner. Okay, so we finished off here. What's it called again? It's called the boil kettle. The boil kettle. Okay, so what happens after this? After this, we go through a chilling process because we want to stop the, uh, what is called, uh, uh, well, the hops flavor get extracted a certain degree. Mm -hmm. So we want to chill that as soon as possible. So we go through what is called the chiller. And we have cold water wa uh, running on one side mm -hmm. and the wort, unfermented beer, on the other side. It gets transferred to this little tank right here. It's an holding tank, because what happened is to fill one fermenter over there, mm -hmm. we have to do three batch. So while we're taking a batch off this one, we transfer it to this tank, and we go to the fermenter. In the fermenter, that's where we have the yeast, where it's going to do all its work, convert beautiful sugar to alcohol, right. and really the flavor is going to balance out. Mm -hmm. And it's going to stay in there for about seven to 10 days. Oh, so it's a time-consuming process. You must be very patient. And I look at my fermenters like a hawk. Uh, I'll be here for the first 24 hours. I was yesterday like four, six times a day just to check. Everything's bubbling away. You right. hear that bubbling sound. You have that nice yeast smell, fermentation smell in the, brewer, the brewery. So then what happens after the seven to 10 days? After that, we get to the cellar uh, where the conditioning phase takes place. So we have two tanks as well here. Some of the beers don't need to be conditioned, like our wheat beer doesn't need to be conditioned. It can go straight to the bright tank where we bottle from. But our flagship honey ale requires another week of balancing out the flavor and everything, so it's called conditioning time or secondary fermentation. So this, there is one in there. Uh, it's gonna take about another seven days to be transferred to the bright tank. Okay. Where it's gonna be carved, so we're gonna add CO2 for the fizz. And after that, we're going to bottle. We're going to go to bottling and kegging. So where do you do your bottling then? We actually we change the layout of the brewery a little bit on the bottling day. Uh, we bring out a stainless steel table. We You're hook up the filler, kidding. and then we put everything aside again and start over. Oh my gosh! Okay, so you really do have to work with the space. Exactly. Okay, come show me the uh, at home kit. Our little party kit. Okay. Most of the breweries have that, probably all of them. It's called really a jockey kit. <laughs> and what it does is it, it enables people to have a party with a keg without the need of a fridge or electricity. Nice. So they received the skip. We rent the skip for $25 plus mm -hmm. the keg. And it comes with the CO2, a little bottle of CO2, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the cupper, everything, all the connection. And what happens inside is they put ice. Mm -hmm. And this stainless steel coil, uh, coil bathed into the, uh, the, the ice. So the beer starts warm, ends up cold in your yeah. glass. Perfect. $25 for this kit. Just rent it. Yep. Can you imagine if you're camping for the weekend or something? That would be perfect. Exactly. All right, now we must finish our tour here at the lovely fridge. When you walk through the doors here at Castle Brewery, this is the first thing you're greeted with. Every time I see it, I feel like saying, oh. <laughs> so what are the two different types of beer? Uh, we started out with our honey ale, which is a honey brown ale, actually, called mm -hmm. Golden Rails. This is our flagship. This is the beer we'll have all the time. This is That's why we call it the Golden Rails. And uh, we have different beers coming out. Uh, there's one last Friday that we uh, we were able to bottle on Thursday. It's called our White Fog Wheat Beer. Wheat Beer. Wheat Beer, and it's a slight off style of the gel Belgian wit beer mm -hmm. so um, that's why it's called the wit beer nice so apart from uh, here at the brewery is there anywhere else people can pick it up or do they need to make the trip to Castleman right now to get the growlers they have to come at our store and uh, we're aiming to get into our 500 millimeter format so we can get the LCBOs and we have keg uh, accounts as well, yeah. tap accounts, one at Castle Golf Course and the Wellington Gastro Pub as well. Okay, so you can find them at the Gastro Pub and at the at the golf course. But you want to come down, check out the brewery, and uh, pick yourself up. What are these ones called? It's called Growlers. Growlers. I like the sound of the Growlers. Thanks a lot, Mario, for having us today. Well, thanks a lot, Sarah. Congratulations on turning one month old. Thank Check you. Check the uh, Castle, uh, Castle Brewery website for all of the information.